All right, so we should have a pillow, a couch cushion, a towel, and a stuffed animal. What we're gonna do is set up an obstacle course. So I have lots of room here. Well, not a lot, but enough. So we're gonna put down our couch cushion, okay? Put down the couch cushion. We're gonna put our pillow in front of the couch cushion. Next to it, like that. Why is it really long? Because I'm a big person. And then, we've got a towel. I want you to fold your towel, okay? stuffed animals so he might keep stealing my friend. Come on. My friend. Alright, so what we're gonna do, this is our obstacle course. And it's a stay and play obstacle course. So what that means is when we go back to the gym, we're probably gonna have little circuits like mini circuits where the child can do their own circuit and another one for another child and another one for another child. And we'll probably be having them stay on their own equipment that entire time because that'll limit the germs. So we'll have it all washed and they'll use their little equipment and we'll, we'll conduct class and when they leave, we'll wash all that again. So this is a stay and play. All right, kids, let's go to the cushion. Everybody meet me on the cushion. Are you on your cushion? The first thing we're gonna do is locomotion. So we're gonna be moving around it for how old we are. So let's start by jumping on our cushion. Hands on the pillow, feet on the sides. Hands on the pillow and feet on the sides. Turn and do it again. Hands on the pillow. Straddle legs, hands on the pillow. Do it again. Your feet are straddle, hands are on your pillow. Hands down, hop. Hands down, jump. Hands down, jump. All right, we're to our towel next. We're gonna be jumping over our towel. Over. Jumping over, jumping over. Don't touch it, it's a lava towel. It's made out of lava. Jump over. I'm gonna move my lava towel over so you can see better. Jumping over my towel. And finally, I have my bear friend. He's gonna help me too. So we're gonna hold him way up in the sky. Tippy toe toe. And we're a tippy toe turn. Tippy toe turn. Anyway, doing it. All right, I'm gonna have you guys keep going. I want you to, what did we do on this one again? Do you remember? Get on top of there. Show me what we're supposed to do. You remembered, jumping, right? Good, jump, 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 jump. You jump in, jump for how old you are. There you go. All right, pillow, what did we do on the pillow? Do you remember? This is where it's really good for kids. We gotta let them remember things. When they remember things, it's gonna help them with school. And we gotta encourage them to remember what to do. I think our hands were on it, legs were in a straddle. And then what? Jump and feet forward. Jump, feet forward. This one's good for press handstands. Hands in front, feet jump next to. Hands in front, feet jump next to. Did you do it for how old you are? All right. We're going to the towel next. How do we do it? Yeah, jump, 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 do it. I'm gonna jump around this time. You can keep jumping over if you want. Again, we're doing locomotion, so moving our bodies. We could gallop around. You could choose whatever way you want around your towel or on or over it. And finally, what do we do with our little friend? Remember? Yeah, good, good, good. Tippy toe tall and turn. You wanna make it tricky? Let's do tippy toes, but march. Tippy toe march turns. Tippy toe march turns. And the other way. All right. Ready for the next way to use our stay and play? The next one is tumbling. Tumbling. So we're gonna go up on top of our cushion. We're gonna reach up so high. We're gonna squat. Hands on your pillow. And you're gonna push your bottom up in the sky like this. Push on the pillow, bottom sky. Squat. 
squat. Push on the pillow, bottoms up. Did you look at your knees? Look at your knees. Bottoms up, look at your knees. Hands closer, bottoms up, look at your knees. Hands closer. So your hands are right next to your squishy couch cushion. Are you ready? Hands push. Bottoms up, look at your knees, and did you tumble like I did? Let's try it again. Remember, you gotta look down at your chin for this one. Stand in your couch cushion. Hands right next to your couch cushion on your pillow. Put your bottom in the sky. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll over. Oh, could you see very well? Maybe I need to move over. I can move over. Let's try it again, ready? Stand up tall. Tall to the short squat. Hands on your pillow, but really close to your cushion. And you're looking down, look down at your shirt. Look down at your shirt when you roll. Trying to get this part of your back to touch the pillow. Is it okay if we can't roll yet? Yeah, it's okay. If you don't feel comfortable doing it yet, you just wait. We'll just keep touching our head down. Try to put your bottom as high as you can. So if you have a child who doesn't want to tumble, that's okay. Have them put their bottom up. Even getting inverted is really good for our development. Getting our bottom up and our head down. Really good for our development. Let's try it, roll. If you like your rolling, keep going. Keep going. All right. One more. Reach up high. Hands down low. Look at your tummy. Can you stand at the end? Ta-da! All right, so hopefully you did help for how old you are. Got our towel next. So, tumbling on our towel, we're gonna put our lucky lunge legs on. Lucky lunge, front leg bent, back leg straight, hands up high. We're gonna touch our towel and stand up for five. This is part of the handstand, adults, and it's a harder part than you realize. It takes a ton of balance to do it. Uh, stand up and bend. Okay, we're, this time we're gonna push and we're gonna hop on one foot. Push, hop. Did you do it? Push, hop. That's a handstand. Push, hop. My back tail is as long as I can make it. So you're trying to make your back tail really long. Push, hop. One more. Push, hop. Good handstands. All right. Now, got a little buddy. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use him to help us with our backward rolls. So we got our cushion. We're gonna put our little buddy between our feet. And we're gonna lift him up and go upside down. And right side up. And rock back. Backward roll. No, I didn't backward roll, did I? I did part of it. Part of the backward roll. Roll back, roll up. Roll back. One more. This is much harder than it looks. It's great for tummy strength and it gets us our backward roll drill. We want a nice rolly body when we roll backwards. Now, if you have a child who loves the backward rolls and can do it, a great spot to save their neck is gonna be at the edge of, of one of these couch cushions. So let me give you an example. Still there? Okay. Letting the head hang off so nothing's touching the floor and then child gets their toes up. It's super important, this alignment though. If they're too far this way, it's gonna wrench their neck when they tumble over. And if they're too far this way, that's gonna hurt their neck too. So the crook of the neck has to be right on the seam. Okay, so only the very tip of their head might be touching or not at all. So we lift our toes up. So I've got zero stress on my neck. If it's too hard, then you're gonna want two two couch cushions so that they don't have any, we don't want pressure on our head and our neck. So backward rolls are honestly best left for the gym, but every family is different. So if you have a tumbler who wants to be doing that, that's an option for you to keep your child's neck safe. All right, so we did some tumbling. Last thing, we need to do some balancing. You ready? So now you've got two ideas for two different obstacle courses. Here's the third one. We're on top, super, super easy. What are we gonna do up here, kids? I want you to just put two feet together, hands up to the sky, and close your eyes. 
Okay, can you balance without falling over, without wiggling? Okay, if that's too easy, let's lift up one foot. Oh, are your eyes still closed? Come on, oh, it's harder to balance with my eyes closed. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Come on, Miss Steph, you can do it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm gonna try my other foot. If, too, if your eyes are closed too hard, if it's too hard, keep them open and stand on one until you can do it to 15. And then you can do one eye shot, other eye shot, two eyes shut. Can I do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes! All right, so next band on our pillow. Probably not with my shoes on, huh? So instead, I'm gonna take my pillow and I'm gonna lift it way over my head like this. And I'm gonna do star balance. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, try your other foot. Most kids fall over on this. One, two, three. Can you move your toe around? Wiggle your foot. Wiggle around. Hold it up straight. Long, 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 long. Okay. I want you to try it one more time. Lift up your pillow. Let's see what people are saying. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm doing workout and gymnastics at home. Go, Jack. Go, Jack. Do your workout. That's good. That's what I want to hear. All right, let's lift up our pillow. If I don't mention your comment, it's probably because it's not it's not scrolling for me. We had I we had issues yesterday for Lauren's video. We weren't seeing people's comments. So if you comment, I'm sorry if I didn't see it. Um, I really do like to comment when you comment. So. Thank you for watching. We got our straddles, our star balances, and a nice sweaty workout going. Okay, balance on the towel. This one, we're gonna put our knees on the towel and our hands in front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one leg really, really far. I don't think you can see it. Let me move over. We're gonna lift our leg far, 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 far. As far as it can go. How far can that toe go? Rub, 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 far, 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 far. Look up, keep your chin up, and your legs so far. This is called a knee scale, and this is a balance that we do on balance beam. Long, long leg. All right, it's a puppy, so let's make it happy. Happy puppy, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, curly tail. Curly tail puppy, straight tail. Curly, straight, curly, straight. This is great for teaching them how to make that leg straight without being able to see it. All right, let's switch knees. Other knee on the towel, other leg out. Long, 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 grow, 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 grow. And curly tail, and straight tail. And let's happy puppy, happy puppy. <laughs> happy Marcus. <laughs> Don't you steal my friend. <laughs> Hi, Marcus. Happy puppy, curly tail, straight tail. And what's it called? Knee scale. So we do these on balance beam. Really great for our core strength. All right, next one. Coach Alicia is the best at this. We're gonna see if we can walk all around our obstacle without our little friend falling off. You got him? Walk around. Uh, stepping over stuff. Whoa. Got him? If he falls down, that's okay. Pick him up. Try again. A little faster. Oh, oh. oh, he fell down. Well, well. Sorry, little buddy. So, I hope that gives you three, sorry, pup, sorry, Marcus, three obstacles to try at home. And remember to keep, oh yeah, Mila's joke, thank you. Ha! I told you that. What kind of music scares a balloon? Pop music. <laughs> and then she made up this joke. What kind of music scares old people? Hip hop. <laughs> Let your kids try new things. Encourage them to try. Tell them, try for how old you are times, and then I'll help you. Keep in shape, guys. Stay healthy. Stay strong. Bye-bye.